Yeah. yeah. But they're not finished with it yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're almost done. Well, I, I think what yeah. Nintendo does is they finish games about a year early and don't release them. Yeah, they just kind of are like, yeah, alright. We're done with that one. Let's. But did you see the E3 demo? It didn't look near done at all. I mean, they're still working on it. That's because they started with gameplay and then did cutscenes last, so they didn't have much to show. You know that? Yeah, but the gameplay was pretty rough. I mean, it was just like this big, like, crater you went into when you explored. It was like, it didn't look like a Zelda game very much. They still have a lot of polishing to do. Yep. And that's probably what they're doing. Right Apparently there. he blasted the ship of Draco Meat. Draco Meteor. Maybe Stefan, you should just be quiet because nobody can hear you anyway. I can hear Stefan. Yeah, I can hear him too, but the, on the video. Well, Stefan is talking through the same microphone that I'm talking to, so his voice is being oh. recorded. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, look at the options here. That's right, or yes. Which one? Uh, that's an inch. This is could be the. You know, what would be really if cool. You choose the wrong one, then it's game over. Really? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Just say that's right. That's left. Uh, Stefan's <laughs> lying to you. Um, you know what I thought would be really interesting? If there was a game that near the beginning, there was one of these things where you could choose. One of the different things, you know, Zeke? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there is some. But, no, 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 but mm -hmm. you could choose, you know, like in Ocarina of Time, and there's a lot of things where you can say yes or no, or maybe, and then not... Well, know. if you say no, they're just like, but Link, yeah, it you're doesn't... so sweet, you have to do it, sweet peanut, otherwise... I'm yeah. gonna kill you, so what do you think now? <laughs> yeah. And it oh, you that said much. no again? Well, I'm gonna have to kill you, Link, so what do you think now? <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it doesn't really change much. But um, the thing is, uh, I think it'd be interesting if there was an option that didn't seem like it would change much, but then it changes the whole game, and the entire game is different. And oh, right. they just program two different games and put them into one. And so, like, if you say yes, you turn into Mario and you play, and you go through Super Mario Galaxy 2. And if you say no, or is that what you said before? Mm -hmm. If you That's choose right. the other one, if you choose the other one, then you be, you are playing this weird side-scrolling game where you're like some sort of octopus. And, <laughs> and it's 100 percent different. 100% different. Yep. It's a bold thing to say. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Hmm. So, are we doing this thing on the 13th now? Friday the 13th? Yeah. That's scary. We're gonna have bad luck. We're gonna die every five seconds because... All of our bad luck. Yeah, we die every five seconds. No, but seriously, are yeah, we going to do this? Because Jalen said he probably could, but I haven't heard back yet. Oh yeah? I'll text him again. Hmm. What is this? This is Stefan Are those playing balloons? Super yeah, they're definitely balloons. Alright, now Stefan's going crazy and he's all red and now he's gonna blow up all the things. I'm blowing up everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it would be interesting as far as Zelda games go, or games where there's treasure chests. Cell shading? Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> By the way, is uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 cell shaded? No. No. Alright. 
Anyway, But you uh, know, you forgot two Zelda games that are cell shaded. What? There's also Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Track. Those are cell shaded. But those are 2D though, right? No, they're 3D. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Well, what I think would be interesting is if you have to get keys to get in treasure chests. Well, they have that. Really? In the Link to the Past, they have that. You have to get the boss key to open the big treasure chest. Oh, huh. I think they have that. Yeah, right? Yeah. No. No, because that would not be following Nintendo logic. No, because they're, like, you know, if you've played The Legend of Zelda, which Stefan hasn't, because he's a complete noob, uh, the, you get Stephon, the big I think key. Stefan has played The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, but he hasn't beat it, because oh. he's a noob. Okay. It's a lot of noob. If, at the last item you get in that game is a, is like a master key, and you can use it to open any door. Oh, any so Stefan, the last item in the original Legend of Zelda is the master key, and you can use that to open any door. And you can reuse it. I beat that game in like two hours. Like the first time I played it, I guess. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Acheron. Oh, yeah. Magaron. <laughs> Zeke, do you know what we're talking about? Yes. <laughs> so Dylan, which was more fun, singing camp or video game camp? <laughs> hmm. It's an interesting question. They were both equally fun. Ow. The singing camp, if you can believe it, actually was more tiring because you had to stand a lot. What? Yeah, because you had to stand oh, a lot. Oh wow. Yeah. That was more tiring than sitting well, on the couch all day playing video games. Well, yeah, of course. Yes. Because if you're just sitting, then that doesn't really... Also, you left, like, a few times, like, once, and then you left earlier, so... That's it wasn't true. like you were just, like, there the whole time playing video games all day like I was. Yeah, because you're crazy, and you went even crazier than normal. What? The game has been saved. Yeah. Do you have saved the game from being inside your car and breaking, potentially breaking in half? The CD. Sorry, Mario. Your save point is in another castle. You have saved the game from Ganondorf. Sigil, I just lost the game. I just lost the game. Zeke? I don't care about the game. But I believe you lost it. <laughs> yes, I did lose the game. Oh, Zeke lost the game. Alright, I haven't... I mean, I've been watching this game, but I haven't really been talking about it at all. Well, how about we just not pay attention to it? Alright, one little question I've had. How come it says, Welcome to the Galaxy? Because it's a galaxy, because there's multiple planets. Like, each, each level is a planet. Wouldn't you call that a planet cluster? Yes, but since it's called... Well, you know, Super Mario Galaxy sounds cooler than Super Mario no, but, Planet Cluster. But you can... But, uh... There's more than one planet. The whole thing is the Super Mario Galaxy. And shouldn't it be called Super Mario Galaxies? Because there's a lot of galaxies. Well... This is Nintendo we're talking about. Super Mario Galaxy Cluster is what oh the name is. Oh my god. And that does not sound as cool as Super Mario Galaxy. Or you could call it Super Mario Galaxy and each one could be called a jungle and it'd be like, Welcome to the jungle. That wouldn't make any sense. I know. Steph tell Stefan he fails at infinite flutter jumps. 
Stefan? Zeke says you fail at infinite butter jump. I, I did seven. I usually can do seven.